Menta kesingi kasi tarik ule ber arja arpu ar, lapli pait ba eka eri weave ka company thang nyap thang jain kub rindia, ka bila pentrai kam na ribhoi, kam buon na kasinong nyap ngar bat mau blay. Ya kene ka company la sedang lingkong na ka kong yai syak rimbai, ta ka jing temu ban penek pensa, bat ban pensa priang ru eka kub ka se mukhasi, syakil leng jong ka perthai. Lapli kene ka company la ni ka brand ha ka office, Prime Startup Hub ka badan ha po ka JN Stadium Pulo, Ringkat gading sakhi lang no MLA ka Umroy Constituency u ba George B. Lingdo bat ki wei ki wei ki he IAS officer. ที่พี่ดีกินนี่กินน้องท่านแล้วก็เอกจะมันต่อยว่าพี่ยอดนะครับเนี่ยครับเรื่องบ้านกันเนี่ยครับคอมพานีบ้านมันต่อยจะจริ
We have a long history in this event today. And it brings back uh, moments when it was all chaotic. And Kong uh, she one day walked into my office there. And then she said, We have this hope society which has been defunct, which has, you know, which was uh, at a loss of nearly, I think, 15 to 1000 rupees. They were already running at a loss every month. And it was very difficult for them to get all the resources required. One was their main raw material, the cocoon. Without the cocoon, we will be getting the thread. And without the thread, the weavers are just sitting at it. Then we had this meeting. And the first meeting that we had was on 3rd April 2019, where we called all the Rearers, the silk coon rearers, the silk rearers, of the farmers of the area, then the spinners and the weavers, 200 of them, all women, and I think there's only one man there, Mr. Mokhra, if I'm not mistaken. And the problem was that they did not connect amongst themselves. All the cocoon was going to Guwahati. And the buyers from Assam had to come and purchase all this cocoon, in spite of the tremendous demand that was there in our area. So through that meeting, first success was that connecting the all the stakeholders together, bringing them in one table to discuss on their the needs, on the supply, and on the demand. That was the, the first success, I would say to this entire journey of Kong Yesha, where the cocoon was made available. It was just next door, it was just in the next village, just 5 kilometers away, 10 kilometers away, but just by not connecting them together, the cocoon was all going to Guwahati. And we pleaded all the raiders that please don't sell the cocoon outside, since we have the, rare, the weavers and the spinners here, at least meet their demand here before you said, go now, say, any excess, yes, please. That's, you know, for you to decide. Then, that support that we got, finally, we could meet the demand of cocoon for our spinners. Then, we had a problem of tools. Now, I didn't know the names of the tools also because I was new and uh, to this entire sector. Then, Kong again walked in another, another day, another day, and then we got about 20 tools from uh, our handbook officer there. She gave us these 20 weaving tools, and there we could support our weavers, gave them training as well, and then started this beautiful concept of Kamai Abashankai to earn, as we said, idol or the usage of the idle time where a woman sitting in their homes watching with their children or maybe gossiping or as they sit in a shop or as they have you know, our traditional pan or a koi where they use these spindles to weave the thread. And this concept is so beautiful that Kong Yesha after understanding the needs of her society and her viewers. Then she came up to me, I think we spent about 20 to 30,000 rupees and I had to pay, obviously. <laughs> and then we went and then this concept was so great that she went from village to village giving these small, small awareness programs and from there now she has got 100 viewers who are supporting this entire society. 